Page 38. Exercise A. Vocabulary. Bad driving habits. Read and listen. Speed. Tailgate. Talk on the phone. Text while driving. Weave through traffic. Not stop at red lights. Not signal when turning. Pass in a no passing zone. Page 39. Exercise C. Photo story. Read and listen to a conversation between two old friends. Brad, long time no see. Mason, you're right. It has been a long time. How have you been? I can't complain. What about you? How's the family? Great. I was just going in here to pick up a present for Marissa. Tomorrow's our fifth anniversary. Congratulations. Hey, let's have a cup of coffee and catch up on old times. There's a nice coffee place right around the corner. You won't believe what I just saw. What? This taxi was coming around the corner, and he hit a bus. Someone said the guy was texting while he was driving. You've got to be kidding. Was anyone hurt? I don't think so. Thank goodness for that. I just can't stop thinking about that accident. I know. The driving in this city has always been bad, but now everyone's texting and talking on the phone instead of paying attention to the road. You can say that again. You shouldn't multitask while you're driving a car. Page 40. Vocabulary. Car parts. Exercise A. Read and listen. Exterior. 1. Headlight. 2. Engine. 3. Hood. 4. Windshield wiper. 5. Windshield. 6. Sunroof. 7. Trunk. 8. Taillight. 9. Turn signal light. 10. Bumper. 11. Tire. 12. Side view mirror. 13. Window. 14. Door. Interior. 1. Steering wheel. 2. Horn. 3. Dashboard. 4. Gas pedal. 5. Brake pedal. 6. Clutch. 7. Gear shift. 8. Rear view mirror. 9. Emergency brake. 10. Seat belt. Page 41. Exercise B. Listen to activate vocabulary. Listen to the conversations about accidents. Write the number of each conversation in the box under the picture. And write the car part or parts that were damaged in each accident. Conversation 1. Oh no, what happened to your car? A tree fell on it in the storm. Look at your windshield. Yeah, I'm going to have to get it replaced. Conversation 2. Oh no, what happened to your hood? I had an accident. I hit a parked car. How did that happen? I fell asleep. Conversation 3. I can't drive my car. I had an accident. Oh, I'm sorry. What happened? The brakes failed and I hit a tree. Oh no. Was there much damage? Well, I'll have to replace the bumper and the right headlight. Conversation 4. I had an accident. Oh no. What happened? This other car smashed into my trunk. Was anyone hurt? No, but the car is going to cost an arm and a leg to fix. Page 41. Conversation Model. Exercise A. Read and listen to a conversation about a car accident. I had an accident. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? I'm fine. No one was hurt. Thank goodness. How did it happen? Well, the other driver was tailgating and he hit my car. Oh no. Was there much damage? 
No, I'll only have to replace a taillight. Ways to respond. With concern. I'm so sorry. Oh, no. How awful. I'm sorry to hear that. That's terrible. With relief. Thank goodness. What a relief. That's good. Page 42. Vocabulary. Phrasal verbs for talking about cars. Exercise A. Read and listen. Turn on. Turn off. Pick up. Fill up. Drop off. Now listen again and repeat. Page 42. Pronunciation. Stress of particles in phrasal verbs. Exercise A. Stress changes when an object pronoun comes before the particle. Read and listen. 1. I'd like to pick up my car. Okay. What time can you pick it up? 2. They need to drop off the keys. Great. When do they want to drop them off? Now listen again and repeat. Page 43. Conversation model. Exercise A. Read and listen to someone describing a car problem. I'm dropping off my car. Was everything okay? Well, actually, the windshield wipers aren't working. I'm sorry to hear that. Any other problems? No, nope, that's it. Is the gas tank full? Yes, I just filled it up. Page 44. Before you listen. Exercise A. Vocabulary. Car types. Read and listen. 1. A full-size sedan. 2. A compact car. 3. A convertible. 4. A sports car. 5. A station wagon. 6. A minivan. A van. 7. An SUV. 8. A luxury car. Now listen again and repeat. Page 44. Listening Comprehension. Exercise A. Listen for details. Listen. Write the car type that the speakers discuss in each conversation. Exercise B. Listen to summarize. Write a check mark if the caller rented a car. Write the reasons the other callers didn't rent a car. Conversation 1. Good morning. Wheels Around the World Rentals. This is Clarence. How may I help you today? Good morning. I need a rental car in La Paz. In Bolivia? That's right. I'm arriving on Tuesday, December 18th. At the La Paz El Alto Airport? Yes, at 6.30 a.m. And what kind of car do you need? Something with four-wheel drive. Do you rent SUVs? Yes, we do. Great. Conversation 2. Good morning. Wheels Around the World Rentals. This is Malcolm. How may I help you today? Good morning. Do you have a minivan available? For what date, please? For today. And at which location? Downtown. Let me check. Well, we have one coming in later today. A customer is returning it at about 4 o'clock. 4 o'clock. No. Unfortunately, that's too late. You won't have anything available sooner? Not a minivan. I'm sorry, sir. Okay. Thanks anyway. I'll try another company. Conversation 3. Good morning. Wheels Around the World Rentals. This is Clarence. How may I help you today? Hello. This is Ingrid Katz. Do you rent cars in the U.S.? Yes, Ms. Katz. Where do you need the car? At the Miami airport on October the 4th, returning the car on October the 7th at the airport again. What kind of car were you looking for? Something small. A compact. Miami. Let me check. Okay. We have compacts in Miami. Would you like me to reserve one for you? Oh, yes, please. Conversation 4. Good morning. Wheels Around the World Rentals. This is Malcolm. How may I help you today? Good morning. I'd like to rent a car on Saturday. A luxury car, preferably white. Yes. Do you rent by the hour? I only need it for Saturday night. Well, we do, at $25 an hour for luxury cars. But do you mind my asking you your age? Excuse me? How old are you? 
I'm 18. I'm sorry, sir. You have to be 25 to rent a car. Page 46. Before you read. Exercise A. Vocabulary. Driving behavior. Read and listen. Bad or aggressive drivers. Honk their horns. Stare at other drivers. Gesture at other drivers. Flash their lights at other drivers. Good drivers. Pay attention. Observe the speed limit. Maintain a safe following distance. Now listen again and repeat. Page 46. Reading. Read and listen. Six tips for defensive driving. We all know that not everyone drives well. Some people tailgate, gesture, weave through traffic, and honk. Classic signs of the aggressive driving that causes one-third of all car crashes. But more and more people are now talking on the phone, eating, and even watching TV as they drive. Examples of the multitasking and inattentive driving that is a growing cause of accidents. Although we can't control the actions of other drivers, the following defensive driving tips can help us reduce the risks caused by our own driving and the bad driving of others. 1. Slow down. Driving too fast for weather or road conditions gives you less time to react to dangers on the road ahead of you. Also, as you increase your speed, your car becomes harder to control and takes longer to come to a stop. 2. Follow the three-second rule. The greatest chance of a collision is in front of you. Maintaining a safe following distance of three seconds behind the car in front of you will give you enough time to react if that car slows or stops suddenly. 3. Pay attention to your surroundings. Be aware of where other vehicles are and what is happening on the road. Check your rear view and side view mirrors frequently. Before changing lanes, always look over your shoulder to check your blind spots, areas to the side and rear of your car that aren't visible in your mirrors. 4. Signal your intentions early. Use turn signals to let other drivers know what you're going to do before you do it. This helps other drivers understand your plans so they can make their own defensive driving decisions. 5. Expect the unexpected. Assume that other drivers will make mistakes. Plan ahead what you will do if another driver breaks a traffic law or cuts you off. For example, don't assume that a vehicle coming to a stop sign or a red light is going to stop. Be prepared to stop your own car if necessary. 6. Don't take others' aggressive driving personally. Other people will drive badly. They're not thinking about you. If you permit them to make you angry, it can affect your own driving and lead to an accident. When other drivers show signs of aggressive driving, just slow down or pull over to let them pass. Page 48. Review. Exercise A. Listen to the conversations. Then complete the statements with words and phrases for bad or aggressive driving. Conversation 1. Oh my gosh! Did you see that? No, what happened? That guy in the white van just turned in front of us. I almost hit him. Wow, what's his big hurry? Conversation 2. Jim, don't you think you're driving a little too close to the car in front of us? No way. I've got great reaction time. Well, you'd better have good brakes. Conversation 3. Hey, keep your shirt on, mister. What is wrong with that guy? He does that at every light. Who knows? Some people can't stand to wait two seconds after the light changes. Yeah, but the rest of us can't stand all that noise. Conversation 4. Did you see what that guy just did? No, I didn't. He just opened his window and gave me some kind of sign with his hand. What's that supposed to mean? I don't want to know. Conversation 5. Why is that guy behind us doing that with his lights? Beats me. Maybe he wants to pass. Well, he can be my guest. With all this traffic, he won't get very far. Conversation 6. Look at the way that guy's driving. He just passed us on the left, and now he's passing that car on the right? There he goes again. 
Now he's in the left lane passing another car. Unbelievable. He thinks he owns the road. You know what bugs me? There's never a policeman around when people drive like that. You can say that again. Conversation 7. Why is that man looking at us like that? He looks so angry. You're right, he does. Yeah, but why is he doing that? He probably doesn't like the way you drive. Don't even look back at him. Top Notch Pop Song, Wheels Around the World. To read the lyrics and sing along, turn to the end of this book. Was I going too fast or a little too slow? I was looking out the window and I just don't know. I must have turned the steering wheel. Shift broke. Can I bring the car back? 